In this video we're going to see how to add a plinth. Over in the properties menu we have an external zone section. If I open that up there's a plinth option here. I'm going to set the elevation to 100 millimeters. And you can see now we have a volume below the cabinet that's being created. Note that the overall height is still 800. The elevation 100 is set within that. That's because we've got zone as inner. If we change that to outer, we have a new section here, real dimensions, that shows that the overall height is now 900. The cabinet 800 plus the plinth 100. Let's put it back to inner. Select that zone. We can now go over to the toolbar, click on add plinths, and add a panel to the left, the right, back and front. Let's also set the front panel back 50 millimeters and click OK. So we can see that plinth in position here. Let's make that wireframe. There we go. One other point to note, we have the bottom panel overpassing the sides. Plinths are managed slightly differently if it's underpassing. So let's take away the plinth, let's undo that. Got the bottom panel selected. Let's make it underpassing the left and right sides now. Now, if I go and add a plinth, I don't have the options for the left and right side, only back and front. Let's add those. In this situation, if you do want the left and right panels of the plinth, select that volume. And instead of using the plinth function, use add uprights. And we'll set from the left an upright at zero millimeters. And we can see that applied. So that's the other way you do it if the bottom is underpassing the sides. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.